Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another discussion video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing my struggles with my hair loss over the past couple years and basically what I'm going to do to resolve it. Well, I think the resolution for it is uh, pretty much outlined in the title of the video, but <laughs> yeah, guys, I uh, just wanted to do a video on the channel because I felt like it was fashion or at least, yeah, like men's style slash streetwear related um, because of what I'm planning on doing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted a video where I could have a, a discussion or a conversation about like the struggles that I've had over the past three years to do with hair loss and then um, obviously showcasing to you guys how I'm going to be dealing with that um, how it led up to this point everything like that I don't know I, I really don't know how I'm going to be structuring this video I've, I've never done something like this before um, but I, I did want to do something because it is a big like topic in like men's style men's health men are obviously very um, I guess self-conscious about their hair because it's a big, you know, talking point and things like that. But uh, yeah, I, I just want to do a video, I guess, on my takes on it, my struggles on it, and how I'm going to resolve it. So we'll see how this all pans out. It's very different from the regular content on the channel. <laughs> but I wanted to mention it with you guys because I don't know, maybe some of you guys are going through the same things. Maybe you feel the same way. I don't know. I, I just felt like it would be an interesting video to do and a fun one to do at that. Yeah, so where do we start? God, I don't even know. Um, probably about three years ago is probably like the first like memories that I had of it. So three years ago when I was uh, 19, uh, I started to notice that my hairline was slowly creeping up. That was the, the first signs. And honestly, it wasn't a big issue for me because I didn't have really, really long hair back then where I would notice things like the hairline creeping up a lot here. I've since like, I've been like 18, maybe even a little bit younger than that. I've had hair, I've, I've had the sides shaved and everything like that, down to about a half, most of the time a one, but it's been shaved. So I, the receding hairline or the creeping up hairline here hasn't been a big thing that I've noticed. Uh, it hasn't been too much of an issue for me because I was like, yeah, look, I'm fine with having my hair shaved on the sides um, until the day that I start losing it on top. Like that's fully a thing that I was okay with. Um, and I, yeah, I noticed that the hairline was going back around about three years ago. And it probably wasn't until about like a year and a half ago when I was like 20 and a half, um, maybe closer to 21. I started noticing that it was thinning out on top. So on top of it receding here, it was also thinning out on top. Now, it wasn't a topic that was brought up a lot. It wasn't a thing that I noticed a lot. Um, being someone who's 6'5", you don't get someone pointing it out like, oh man, it looks a little bit thin up there or something like that, because they would have to be like seven foot something to be able to point that out. <laughs> or I would have to be sitting down like I am in this case, like something like that would have had to happen. But um, yeah. I did notice that about a year and a half ago it was starting and it probably wasn't until about six months ago or a year ago like 12 months like six to eight months I would probably say that I started noticing that it was getting really bad and that I need to do something about it because it's only going to go further downhill from there. Uh, and I noticed that when I was at a, uh, at, at a party. Um, my mate was doing the DJing and hosting a party at a club and uh, I was in the mosh, well I don't want to say the mosh pit, but I was on the dance floor dancing along and he was up on the stage uh, behind the decks taking a video of everyone with his flashlight on on the phone uh, just to, you know, for social media reasons, etc, etc. But I watched his footage on his phone and that's when I really started to notice it. So this was probably the first time that I saw it from like an external point of view, I would have to say, because, you know, I mean, obviously you notice it day to day, et cetera, et cetera. But this was the first time that I got to see it um, through, I guess, a totally different lens to put it. Um, and after seeing that, I thought, damn, it is getting really, really thin up there and I probably should do something about it. And for the past six months, I've kind of been pondering on that. I've been like, should do something about it you know i need to do something about it um my initial plan was was actually to get both of my ears pierced 
uh, and start rocking earrings, I guess to draw attention away from the whole thing and just to like add a little bit of something extra up here. Probably because I can't grow a beard too well, but just to add something up here <laughs> to draw away from the fact that it was balding out here. And um, yeah, it was probably about like three months ago or four months ago where um, that plan had been like put into action because I was at another gathering where something on the lines of me noticing it again happened. It was, yeah, it was probably like, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, like three or four months ago and I was at a gathering having a couple beers with mates. We were sitting around and I was sitting on a chair. So obviously I'm not situated all the way up here now. I'm situated down here. Uh, and my mate, um, I'll leave him undisclosed. I won't say who he is just in case he watches the video or something like that. <laughs> He's the sweetest guy. He's never mean to anyone, never has a bad thought in his mind. He was quite drunk. And he pointed out that it was thinning quite a bit up here. And I'd already, I guess, faced that truth, but I guess that encouraged me for the plan that I wanted to have moving forward with what I wanted to do. The whole, you know, earrings and uh, shaving it and everything like that. But I suppose that was the real like kick in motion where I was like, right, it's not just me thinking this. Other people can notice it too. It's clearly not getting better. It's a, you know, downwards trajectory. I've got to resolve it in some way, shape or form. Because it just, I, I don't know. How do I summarize it? I guess it just feels a little bit goofy for me. For me personally, at least. Trying to hold on to, you know, my hair when it's thinning out. Like, I, 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 if it's going, it's going. Like, I, I don't want to try and hold on to it when it's not going to stick around. So, yeah, I... After that event, I was just like, I've got to kick it in gear. It, you know, I've noticed it over the past 12 months. It's gotten worse in eight months. It's gotten worse now in the past three months with my mates now noticing it. It's not going to get any better moving into the future. So that, I guess that's really the progression of it over the past three years. It's just like, you know, slowly seeing my hairline go up and up and up. And then it was the moment where I'm like losing it on top, I would say. Um, and yeah, I, I've, I've never been picked on for it, but I was going to say that I want to catch it before it gets really bad. And, you know, I start having like individual strands, like isolated and stuff like that. I don't want to get to that point. So I want to catch it before it gets worse. And that's why in this video, I'm going to be showcasing myself, uh, well, maybe not shaving it, but after the results of having it shaved. Yeah, so um, that's really the whole progression of my hair loss over the past three years, since the age of 19 to now the age of 22. It's just, yeah, it's receded and then thinned out. And I, I guess the pathway that I want to take is just embracing that I'm going to lose it early and that at some point, of course, I'm going to lose it. So I don't really want to go down the pathway of like treatments um what's the other pathway the treatments and surgeries that's right because you can have surgeries for the whole thing yeah i don't want to like elon musk it <laughs> where you have like transplants and stuff like that like yeah i just think that when it's gone it's gone and you just got to face it head on like i don't know like you could we can beat around the bush as much as we want about it but if you're losing your hair you're gonna lose your hair you can put as many band-aids as temporary solutions on it but it's gonna go. And I mean, hey, look, everyone's gonna feel differently about that, but that is just how I feel about it, that it's gonna happen. So it has to go, because it's gonna happen. And that, that's how I'm tackling it, like head on. I wanna catch it before it's, it gets even worse. Um, I guess I can showcase it to you guys, um, to, like where I started seeing early uh, signs of it, like really, really um, getting bad. But yeah, um, I, I guess that's, that, that's my mentality moving forward now that I've like identified and accepted that it's thinning out and falling out. Well, I wouldn't say f falling out makes me think that there's like clumps of it coming out. <laughs> like like alopecia type spec. But yeah, it really just kept getting thinner and thinner and thinner to the point it is now. And yeah, I, I just want to resolve it. So um, yeah, I'll showcase it to you guys to showcase like how thin it is and how that's I guess encouraged this whole decision so I guess this is probably like the best angle that I could really showcase it at but see like look at that I go from this doesn't look that bad and then I pull it down 
and then it just looks well in my opinion looks quite bad so um there are there are some like really oh, wow okay i'm gonna put it this way there are some heavier areas where it's not as bad but as soon as i start like spreading it apart as you can see it just gets really thin really quickly like if i try and do this like that you can really start noticing it and it's really bad as well when i do like moving the part of my i guess my fringe at the front here there it just it's bad it I, I mean, I personally think it, 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 it's quite bad. I'm trying to thin it out as much as possible to make it as dramatic as possible <laughs> with the whole thing. But yeah, like it, it all progressed to this in like th less than three years. And I don't know why it got to this stage. Um, I don't know if it's just because of like COVID stress, stress in general, or dieting, um, or exercise, like they're, they're all they're all factors that play into it. Obviously, probably hereditary is probably a big thing as well. But um, yeah, I mean, I from what I know, my dad wasn't losing his hair until his thirties, and same with my grandparents and stuff like that. So I guess I'm just the odd one out. My brother, who's only two years younger than me, has like a full head set of hair. He's got like a full like Tarzan mane. So it, it, it I don't know. Feel like i'm the odd one out here <laughs> but yeah just like noticing how thin it's gotten over the past couple years to the point where like i feel like if i stayed in the sun long enough like this i could probably get a sunburn on the top of it like it's it's that thin um so yeah i mean i don't really know how else to showcase it to you guys as you can see like, like there are some areas that are just so much thicker than others but yeah it just to me, it just looked really bad, especially from that angle and seeing it in the club with my mate with his phone, my mate at the drinks pointing it out. Yeah, I just thought, look, it's not going to get any better than this, not unless I get like treatments or hair transplants or anything like that. So I think it's just time to say goodbye to it, you know? <laughs> like, you know, it's just... Uh, the, you, there's no upwards trajectory naturally from this like I, I would have to get treatments and hair transplants to make it go upwards instead of downwards but I think I'm just going to embrace it and accept it so yeah I, I, I guess yeah I just wanted to showcase to you guys how I came to that decision if you're in the same you know uh, situation as me maybe it's a little bit later on maybe you're in your late 20s and you're hitting this issue or well I don't want to say issue but uh, this hurdle and yeah I don't know I just kind of wanted to showcase it to you guys on and really the driving point on why I'm making that decision because it is just is just really thin is just like as soon as you part the front like there's just like a hole there it's just yeah, it's just so thin man so yeah I'm gonna be getting rid of it um, I'll dive into that now on what my plan is moving forward and then obviously I'll showcase it to you guys as an end result yeah, so my plan to resolve it um, is really just to shave it. I'm just going to grab an electric shaver and shave it. I'm going to have the sides as a one or a half, just like I've done since I've, yeah, I don't even know, since I was like 18 or something like that. <laughs> and then the top, I reckon I'll go like a three and then like progressively work my way down um, if I think it needs to go even uh, shorter than that because of how like sparse it is up top if it's if like once it goes down to a three and it still looks really really sparse and it like needs to go to like a two or a one to just you know level out and look a lot better well obviously i'll do that i'll obviously i'll do that but um yeah that's gonna be my uh my solution really because yeah i as i've expressed throughout this video i just i don't want to hold on to it because i've seen what that looks like and i'm like yeah nah and I don't want to get like treatments or um, transplants or any of that expensive stuff for it because I don't know as I've also expressed I feel like you're just fighting a losing battle there and you might as well just embrace it and move on because if you're just going to keep fighting it it's just going to be more added stress to your life and I feel like you don't need that so just to embrace it and go from there so yeah guys um, I don't know if I'll be able to get any footage of me actually shaving it off or anything like that but um I guess in the next part of the video, um, you'll see it. We'll see how I look with a three on top and then moving our way down if I have to. And we'll see how we'll go from there. So I'll catch you at that point, guys.
and I'll see you then. And here we are. <laughs> well, 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 with most of it gone, with almost all of it gone. But yeah, guys, so um, I, I couldn't shave it on Thursday night. I was pouring down. I couldn't shave it Friday night after work because it was pouring down. I didn't want to shave it inside because then I would have had to deal with, you know, cleaning it up and everything like that. So finally, Saturday morning, it rained in the morning and then towards midday, it eased off. So I finally had a moment to get rid of it all. And I got to say, the first thing I feel is a lot more free. I, I, yeah, it's, it, 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 I, I don't even know how to describe how I'm feeling right now. It's, it's different. Um, what I did is I did a five initially on top and then it was really weird and patchy. So I brought it down to a four. So it's a little bit more even, uh, the sides I shaved to a two, but they were already almost at a two. So there wasn't a lot coming off when I got a two done. And then I just obviously like fixed up the edges and stuff like that to make it like a little bit more. Yeah. Like a little bit more cleaner, but, um, yeah, literally shaving on top with a five, uh, initially, it was like three seconds and it was all gone. Like that's how sparse it was and how I, how thin it was. Yeah, I like, you know, you see all those videos of people like slowly shaving each part. It was literally just like one, two, and then three, and it was gone. It was just gone. So I didn't realize how, well, I realized how bad it was, but it wasn't until I shaved it until I was like, wow there was really nothing up there. Like there was really nothing going on. I mean, now there's nothing going on as well, but, <laughs> but it was, yeah, it was a lot worse uh, before. So yeah, I haven't actually, no one's actually seen it as of yet. So I haven't, um, I haven't gotten all the jokes about just coming out of prison and everything like that yet, or just coming out of the army or whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I tell you what, uh, at this current moment, I'm feeling really good about it. Uh, it's de I, like, seriously, it's the move to go with. If you're thinning out like I was, don't go with treatments. Don't go with transplants. If it's going, it's going, guys. There's no point wasting all your money on hair treatments when you can spend it on jewelry and stuff that you just don't need. <laughs> or oh, streetwear clothing that you don't need. That That's a better spend, uh, expenditure of your cash. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I reckon I'll just be like moving forward uh, that'll this will be how it is because it's just I mean look even with a light you can see how thin it's looking on top it's just too thin to grow out it just looks in my opinions it just looks really gross uh, when I have a gust of wind come through it just looks really I um like a mop it kind of just like went everywhere it's a lot nicer having it like this I don't know if I'll go shorter than a four which is what it's at currently but if it gets like really really thin I might just have to bring it down to like a half just because like I mean as you can see as I'll showcase it to you even though it's been shaved down to a four it still looks quite thin on top and you can tell like looking on the sides a lot thicker on the sides than it is on top but hey i i still think it looks a lot better now with it shaved and you know um well now i mean if i wore a black turtleneck i'd look like a 90s super villain in an action movie <laughs> like a james bond villain or something <laughs> yeah no um i i recommend it uh as i just expressed if you're in the same situation that i am just take it off fellas just do it do it It'll make your life so much better. Um, I wouldn't hold on to it. It's going to be interesting. Maybe I'll do like a progress report, a uh, buzz cut report six months down the line. How are the reactions? <laughs> but yeah, I think it's definitely the move. Um, I'm going to be wearing more caps now, not to hide the fact that I've got like a four shaved here now, more so that because as you can see, it's quite thin. Uh, when the sun's out, I don't want to get a sunburnt noggin. And I obviously don't want to get any like skin diseases or anything from sunburnt like heads or anything like that. So yeah, I'll be wearing more caps. You'll probably see me pick up more caps now because uh, obviously I actually need them now. With, uh, you know, Australian sun, relentless. Like it'll it'll burn you quick. So I'm gonna I'm in summer. I'm gonna be wearing caps all the time. Um, on hot days in general, I'll be wearing beanies and caps more just because you know got to be more sun conscious and more sun safe now with this going on but yeah um that's the look 
Uh, it's obviously... How do I, how do I put it? Uh, it looks a lot thinner with like all these artificial lights uh, showcasing it to you at the moment. It looks a lot better when it's in natural light and you know, basically that. But uh, yeah, this is how it is. I, I'd love to hear just like anything you guys have to say. Like, are you in the same situation? Uh, are you thinking of doing the same thing? Um, yeah, I, I rate it. Seriously, do it, shave it. It's the way to go. Um, and I tell you what, having a shower and not having to like wash your hair, well I don't, I don't want to say wash my hair, but like, you know, go through my hair, deal with my hair being wet, it was fantastic. I was like, damn, I feel like, you know, it's just great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but to close it all off, this is how I'm going to be moving forward because, you know, it, it, it is what it is. These are the cards I've been dealt. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on... Just anything I've said in the video, if you're in the same scenario, everything like that, uh, down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to do more discussion videos where I discuss, I guess, like life changes or updates or things like that, or just like any specific content that's still fashion related, still streetwear related, but um, is more so like this video, uh, just let me know in that comment section below and I'll see what kind of content I can do surrounding that. But uh, yeah, I would love to do more content like this. Uh, if you want that, you've got to give me the three indicators that I'm always asking you for though, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're trying to hit a new subscriber milestone of 3,320 subs before the end of the month. Uh, we don't have long to hit that subscriber milestone, but we have less than five subs to hit that subscriber milestone. So. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of April. But that's everything I gotta say um, about, I guess, uh, my struggles with my hair uh, thinning and me just losing my hair at uh, an age of 19 to 22. Uh, it is what it is. These are the cards have been dealt. That was my thoughts on what I'm gonna do moving forward. I wasn't gonna go down the treatment pathway the, uh, you know, supplements pathway, all that kind of jazz. I'm just obviously going to buzz it off. Um, I feel a lot better about it. And this is obviously the end result. So I think we've covered everything that I was going to cover in this video. Uh, so until the next discussion video, guys, until the next streetwear talk video, guys, until the next sneaker talk video, I'll catch you later.